it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe, Awaken Your Soul. Before I get to the video content, I do want to remind you guys that Joanne and I have an amazing 30-day detox for those of you on this Twin Flame journey. Um, start feeling better today. Check out the link below. Okay, with that being said, I want to go over... Um, my person and I, we rarely talk about pre, pre-dark night, pre-separation, um, when we first lived together, before he moved out, we don't really talk about that time. It's sort of like this thing that never existed. And that's okay, because when the conversations do come up, they typically um, will bring about a really, really um, push energy, though the push energy is strong. Not, um, not because we want it to be there, but it's just that energy still remains from that time period. So we don't really discuss anything. Well, last night there was this conversation that sort of led us to talk about um, pre-separation. And it was, we were sitting at dinner and my oldest um, that lives with me um, was sleeping and she didn't come down for dinner. So my person says, you know, I remember when you used to get mad that I didn't come down for dinner. And I said, well, in all fairness, I used to get mad at you for pretty much everything, remember? And he sort of just nods. And I said, do you remember I did get mad at you for everything? And he says, yeah, I do. And I said, I don't really get mad at you anymore, um, do I? And he says, no, not not really. I said, yeah, I don't, I don't think I do. And that was just the end of the conversation, but there was so much packed into those couple of sentences. So much packed in there. And let me explain. When pre-separation, I got mad at him for almost everything he did. I got mad at him if he didn't come down for dinner. I got mad at him if he was on his phone. I got mad at him if he didn't wake up and say hello the right way. I got mad at him if he didn't give me a kiss before he went to the bathroom. I got mad at him if he stayed downstairs too long. I got mad at him if he didn't put his arm around me. I got mad at him if he faced a certain way. You get what I'm saying. And I was thinking about it and I was like, why did I get mad at him for so much? And it makes sense why he was always walking around with knots in his stomach because the energy I was always pushing out to him was just fear-based mind energy constantly. And he was receiving it and he was miserable. And so I was thinking about it. Why was I always angry? Well, why was I always angry? I was always angry because he triggered me in everything he did. And this journey is about being triggered and why? Because we are meant to find our best self and we can't do that until we release all that gunk that we have sort of pushed down for so many years. So my person, everything he did would trigger me and the triggers were my soul trying to help me release this stuff so I could be my best self. But the triggers all stemmed from one fear and the one fear was that he would leave. And the one fear was based on the underlying premise that I didn't love myself. So let me back up a little bit, let me explain. When he didn't come down for dinner, I would get angry and I would get triggered because there was this mind, mind's thought process was he doesn't come down for dinner. He doesn't believe that this is his family, my children and me. We're not really his real family. Well, if we're not his real family, he will be okay with leaving. He can leave, he can pick up and leave at any time. And it was like, that was where the fear, the same thing, he doesn't kiss me in the morning. Well, maybe he's really not attracted to me. If he's not really attracted to me, then he can get, pick up and leave at any time. So you see where I'm going with this? Everything's underlying thing was my deepest, darkest fear that he would leave. And what did my dark night end up producing? He left and it produced my dark night. It was like I manifested my worst fear by always constantly thinking about it. And it's like these triggers were there because I needed to work through these issues and the underlying issue above, below everything was that I didn't love myself. So fast forward to today, I love myself. I don't have the fear of him leaving because I love myself so much that if he did leave, I would be okay. 
won't leave because I love myself. I align with my soul and when I'm aligned with soul, he is at peace. He's at peace through me. Why don't we fight now? Because I don't have all of those fear-based energies constantly being triggered all the time around him. I'm in a place of love within and it just radiates that energy back to him. And it was such a really like, eye-opening discussion even though it was so short it was like 30 seconds long but it's like all of those fights came up because they were triggers trying to be released and I was triggered 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 and um I'm assuming that a lot of you guys in this connection regardless of which stage of the connection and the journey you're in are being triggered by things the triggers are all meant to be released balance that energy so they no longer bother you and you've got to understand where these triggers are coming from and a lot of times it's coming from the underlying thing of a lack of self-love mind's lack of self-love because soul always loves you because soul is love once you align with soul that feeling of self-love is always there because like i just said soul is love your infinite being is pure love. So you get to that place of aligning with soul and you no longer feel that unworthiness. You no longer feel that you're not enough. You no longer feel that you're incomplete because you are full and whole and complete as soul. And mind gets to take the back burner while soul gets to take the, the forefront. Anyways, I hope this message has helped. I love you guys. Once again, this is Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul.